Welcome back. Today we are cooking with Thunder Bay, and today we're making a standard comfort food. It's meatloaf. But Chef Mike Stigler is back with bison rather than beef. It's the other red meat. Yes, right? new on the menu, too, at Thunder Bay. And today we're going to serve it up with some pan roasted potatoes, mm -hmm. some mushrooms, some black and green beans. Yeah, good morning, ladies. Good Thanks morning. for having me. Great to see you. Yeah, we're making uh, meatloaf today, but we do it with uh, bison. And not only is it bison meatloaf, but it's smoked bison meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Why uh, is that? Because I think of meatloaf being something that needs a lot of fat or flavor. Well, we, we cut the bison with a little bit of beef to give it a little bit of additional fat. Mm. Um, then we bake it in the oven first, real briefly, and then we put it into the smoker and smoke it, finish it with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Delicious. Well, yeah. and bison's getting a lot of attention, buffalo, because they're a lot more plentiful than they used to be. There was like a danger, you know, a, a long time ago, but it has fewer calories, fewer fat than, mm -hmm. than regular beef, but more protein, yeah, actually. More protein, it's really high in iron, too. Yeah. It's definitely mm. very healthy meat. So it's awesome. Yeah, it's popular on, on the menu, huh? Yeah, it is very popular. It's a, one of our more popular items, as a matter of fact. So yeah. the first cool. thing I'm going to get going here is I'm going to get some of my veggies going because our meatloaf's not going to take all that long. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit of olive oil going in our pan over here. So is this already cooked when it's like this? Yeah, it's okay. already cooked at this point. We cook okay. it first and then we kind of let it cool down and we slice it. Mm. So we're going to get our red potatoes going in the pan here. So these are Yukon Gold and these are um, regular red potatoes. Okay. We put a little bit of salt inside of there and we let that go. We're going to let those brown up just a little bit. And then in my blackening pan over here, I'm going to get going our green beans. So these are regular green beans, which I blanched, which we talked about last week, which just means dropping them into a little bit of boiling water real quick okay. so that you kind of set the color on them. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to finish these up in a blackening pan over some nice high heat. So you can hear those are going to sizzle up. I just put a little yeah. bit of oil in there, just enough to kind of help conduct that heat into there. So we got our potatoes going over here. We got our green beans going over here. We're going to let these guys cook, and then we're going to talk about the meatloaf a little bit. Do you just wash cast iron with, with, with water? Water, no soap, right? Yeah, what I like to do is while it's still hot, um, hold it into the sink, you know, and, and, and spray some water on it, rinse it off a little bit, and you're good to go. Just yeah, let no, it, no soap, no nothing like that. Okay. Awesome. So for our bison meatloaf over here, what we do is, like I said, we make our meatloaf up a little bit ahead of time, and then we're going to do something a little bit different with it is we're going to finish it off in a pan. So a lot of people like the end cut, and if you do like that, you can specially request it, but we kind of set the that on the side butt. for it. The bison butt, there you go. <laughs> and maybe you got a new dish there, bison <laughs> butt meatloaf burger. So you can see see here that we have uh, green peppers, a little bit of onion inside of there, um, all cooked together. Um, we're going to cut this into two pieces that are about four ounces each. It's do you gonna, put ketchup in your meatloaf? We don't put ketchup in there, but we do baste it with a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce and mm. then finish it in the oven. That's why it's got the little bit of a glaze on the top there. So we're going to take our two pieces, we're about four ounces each, which is going to equal about a half a pound of meatloaf. And we're going to put this into our pan over here. So we're going to get this searing like mm. this into a hot pan. And this is where it kind of varies a little bit from your traditional meatloaf, because your normal meatloaf, you just slice it, put it on Sorry. a plate. Uh, what I like to do is combine cooking methods. Anytime you can combine cooking methods, you're building flavors, which is what mm. we're trying to do here. So first we smoke it, and then we're going to finish it in the pan, and we're combining our cooking methods here, and we're building a lot of flavor, which is what we want to do. So now with these Delicious. potatoes, once they start to get a little bit brown like these guys are here, we're going to go ahead and add in some uh, herbs. Now these are, this is fresh rosemary, mm -hmm. and I like to keep our fresh herbs that we snip off of the plant in a little bit of water like this. Now um, you just get a little shot glass of water, a little vase if you got a lot of it. Um, drop them right in there. If you want to loosely cover them with a little bit of plastic wrap, put them in the refrigerator like that. They'll keep a lot longer and they'll stay a lot fresher mm -hmm. rather than just wrapping them up tight in plastic wrap or in a baggie yep. and, and forgetting buy, about them. You buy fresh herbs like that in little plastic packages, you put them in the fridge and they go bad quickly. They go bad so yeah. fast. It's a really great tip to keep them fresh. They really do. And then so I like to... So you just put it in. You didn't have to like, because uh, a lot of times they say you have to wake up the, the sprig. Wake well, you you up, have to sprig. Do that? No, I don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full, wake full up, story. Sprig. So I, I just like to put it right by the pan here and kind of like run your run your fingers down, toss it in there, and you're good to go. And, and as it sautés, it's going to wake up on its own. It's, it's pretty hot in there. It's hard to stay Now we're putting people to sleep in uh, our first segment with Carol and the bunny book, and now we're waking right? people up. Waking up Rosemary. So we're going to put a little bit of roasted red Man, peppers good. and onions oh, going oh, in there. Oh, I know. The studio is going to smell like this all day. Mm -hmm. and Dave's like, yep. So yeah. I like to go ahead and flip this meatloaf over, and you can see how it kind of gets that nice caramelized look yeah. on the outside there. It's going to look a little bit different than what your traditional meatloaf would. Now to these green beans over here, we're really going to get smoky. I'll take it easy on you, though. We're gonna Don't add, do it. We're going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning in here as well. And do this it is, your way. This is going to blacken these beans up and give them a little bit more of a flavor pop. Put a little bit of oil in there to help those get going. Feel like you got to sneeze? I kind of do. <laughs> Good. That's that Cajun. So you can see they're starting to get a little bit blackened around the sides there. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. 
So then to that, I'm going to put a little bit of Asiago cheese oh, on top of there. Cheese. Let that finish up, and then we can start to build up our plate here. I was wondering where that cheese was going to go. Yeah. I thought you were going on the meatloaf. Well, it could. That would be good, too. But in this case, we're just going on the beans. Possibilities are endless So here, we're going to put our roasted potatoes on the plate like that. We are going to go ahead and mm -hmm. put our green beans on mm. the plate like that Man, right that there. So you got oh your green gosh. beans going. Whoa. We're going to take our meatloaf, get that out of the pan because it's nice and seared on both sides and that's going to give it a nice little crust almost on there. So we're going to put the meatloaf on there as well. What a perfect breakfast. It's delicious <laughs> breakfast. And then instead of using a traditional gravy, what we're going to use is a Doppelbach demi glass. Now demi glass just means um, reduced by half. And this is a demi glass that's made with a reduction of uh, beef, like au jus. And then we also have a little bit of Doppelbach Ooh. beer in there. And we let that cook down. And once again, that helps to build up some delicious flavors in there. Wow. And there you've got that. your smoked bison meatloaf with uh, roasted red potatoes, rosemary. Um, Fresh black and green beans mm. and Doppelbach demi glass. And it's on the menu, right? Yeah, lunch yes, and dinner. Right. We ran out of time, but I want to make sure we talk about your patio. Great outdoor space for people to get together after work or Definitely. anytime this summer. Yep, yeah, yep. Watch a Packer game out there while the weather oh, still cooperates. Good, um, we got a little mm -hmm. pond out there. You know, come on out and you know, have the, have dinner, lunch, cocktails, chat. Mm. Good times. Mm. Breakfast of champions. That is good. Thank Any you. Any time of the day. Smoked right. bison meatloaf. Head yep. out to Thunder Bay, and that's where you can get yours.